Hi there, my name is Marky Sparky and I got an arrow through my knee. <laughs> oh no. Ah, it is episode 31 on the Nevercraft server and the arrow is gone. <laughs> Last time, guys, we built the giant rocket here on the island, including the tower next to it, with an elevator, with a working elevator inside. And yeah, today I want to work on the surroundings here. I want to yeah, make this a nice place because this is like the the original space. Here we started our journey here on the island. <laughs> this is our starter base in there. Here is the elevator down to our mine. And yeah, that's the path through the volcano to the other side. And I want to make this space look nice and work on the whole surrounding here. So I hope you enjoy this one. And if you do, Please leave a like on the video, consider subscribing if you're new, and now sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so as I just said, I want to work on the space right here first in this episode. I want to connect, well, obviously, the path to our rocket tower to here and I want to connect the path coming from the volcano like coming out here and then turning to the left 90 degrees over here maybe actually centered on the water elevator here down to the cellar I want to connect that up and yeah make this a nice spot for our 100 subscriber sign and yeah, um, work on the outside here <laughs> with the basalt scheme that I have all around. So let me work on that for a bit. I will see you in a second. Well, so far so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with this. This, I don't know, triggers the feeling of coziness for me. This little place here with all the volcanic spikes around it. And yeah, just, I don't know, <laughs> surrounded by this. This is like, I don't know, yeah, small, small space with the water elevator down to the mine and the 100 here and stairs to the path through the volcano over to the other side of the island here. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with this. This, this is so different than before and I love it. I simply love it. And what I'm really proud of is the entrance here to our starter base, because now this looks like it is actually dug down into the volcanic rock and yeah, <laughs> here with this cobblestone wall that is made and in here, nothing has changed. Still one of the first 11 diamonds given by Spectrum and the first totem of undying also given by Spectrum in the beginning when I joined the server. <laughs> it's all still here and yeah, <laughs> now it is integrated into what the base here has become. And speaking of what the base has become, uh, two, two episodes ago, I think two episodes ago, I made a, um, what is it, to-do list <laughs> up here and then I never, never looked at it again. And actually we can, um, yeah, <laughs> change something here or actually we have done stuff. So we have finished the inside of the volcano, so let's get rid of that and no, not as empty, better. Build giant rocket to escape. I think we have done that as well. It is not completely done yet. We have to do the interior on the top, but for this list here, it's done. That 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 works. Advertise that. Yeah, maybe we do that later in the episode. Depends on what comes up, actually. And finish the island transformation. And actually, at the moment, I feel like working on that. 
I feel like working on that big time because there's a lot left to do. There's really a lot left to do. I mean, obviously everything here. Then there's a part of the island here that has to be transformed. And I hope I have enough time to actually also do these two islands here and that. Because if you are somewhere over there and look into this direction, this looks really weird that there's green right next to it. I don't like that. That has to go. <laughs> yeah, so I think I will grab me a lot of basalt and start working on the island maybe here or the other side. We'll see. You will see that in the next time lapse. Have fun. guys that has been a lot of hours of hard work compressed into only a few minutes of time lapse and it really shows <laughs> there's only this part left to do and over here that small part and the islands that are way off the main island here <laughs> and yeah we got a lot done guys we got a lot done i covered all of the underwater parts here as well everything over there i mean you have seen that and underneath the rocket, I really like that spot, which is also a nice thing to fly through, actually. And I might do that a few times. <laughs> yeah, and I also especially like this thing, which now totally looks like a volcanic crater of some sorts. And yeah, with all the magma down there, I, I really love this. The only thing that is really weird now are the turtles here. This is obviously their home beach <laughs> and yeah, they, they, they will be here and I kind of ruined that for them, I guess. But well, that's what it is now. Yeah, and over here, 
I try to build another mountain, not as crazy as the volcano over here, but I want to have a reason that the rocket is in that space over there, because here the area is flat and we also have two crafting uh, tables right next to each other, which is a bit stupid, but hey, yeah, I want to have a mountain or a hill here, so a bit of rough terrain, which gives it a reason um, that the rocket is located here and not like on that part of the island, which I think is very, very important when you do, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, and that's why we have, <laughs> yeah, a another mountain right here with, yeah, a lot of dirt scaffolding again. But now, guys, I want to do something different. I am a bit sick of placing down basalt pillars for the moment. And yeah, we'll continue that later on, maybe later in the episode, maybe in between episodes. We will finish this very, very soon. But now, I mean, we have the rocket here and we designed that, we built that to fly to season two. And we did not only do that for ourselves, but for everyone on the server who is willing to travel with us up on top in the tiny capsule of the rocket. Yeah, and uh, yeah, for this, I mean, there must be some way for the others to let me know that they want to join or some way for them to i don't know buy a ticket or something yeah so what i basically want to do is build a ticket booth in the shopping district so let's head over there and do that right now so i've been walking around here in the shopping district thinking about where to put this ticket stand <laughs> this ticket booth and how i want to build it and, well, to be honest, it would be really nice to have it here on one of these um, quadrants around our cherry blossom tree. But I think they are not to be touched, so I won't do that. And the next best place that I've came across is like here behind the slime and honey shop. Right across our bookstore here. And oh boy, I really like this build. I still really, really love this build. Anyway, I think I want to put it right here. I've brought some resources. Well, that is the best box to show first. Here, which is mainly the ingredients of my base and of the rocket. And well, actually, where is the iron stuff? Here. <laughs> yeah, so I want to have a miniature rocket with a bit of basalt pillars around it. And then I want to have a redstone machine <laughs> that basically decides whether you are worthy for a slot in the rocket and if we, whether you are worthy to go to season two with me. <clears throat> if you are one of the Nevercraft players, that is. So let me work on that a bit. I have to design something. I have no idea yet how to do that. I guess see you in a bit. Okay, so far I have a little space with like the basalt stuff around it, with pillars around it. And oh, <laughs> and I'm really struggling with coming up with something on how to build what's going to be inside here. <laughs> I really don't know. Do I want the rocket to be on a pedestal? Do I want it to sit on like an iron crate, like like in, in my actual base, which I think is probably the best solution yeah i think i will do that let me do that you know what i actually like that <laughs> the first version of the rocket looked really i don't know stupid <laughs> didn't like that at all so i went smaller and i think that is actually quite cute so i'm going to keep that <laughs> a tiny tiny rocket so what i want to have here is like a desk kind of thing where you can press a button and then like there will be a computer <laughs> down below that determines whether yeah you are worthy for for the the slot in the rocket <laughs> and then there will be maybe something that spits out like a yes or no or maybe a light that goes on or maybe a jingle that plays and what i really want to have is like a reason for the decision as well Okay, guys, I think I am done here. So, Marky Sparky, Rocket Flight to Season 2. And now we have this small little interface here, which basically tells you to press the button to see if you're worthy for a slot on the rocket, of course. And if so, the light will turn on. If not, well, the light will stay off. So, 
just to test this, I will press the button. And since I am obviously worthy because I'm the pilot, <laughs> that thing should let me, yeah, pass to season two. Let's see whether it actually works. Yeah, that looks very, very good. And <laughs> there's that thing. I mean, that's the reason why people are accepted, if they are accepted. And, well, since I am the pilot of the rocket, I didn't really program that in. So, well, the reason might be off a bit. Let's take a look. Nice hair needed in season two. <laughs> well, I mean, it is actually right. <laughs> anyway. I will put that uh, piece of paper back into the system. I will clean up all the Schalke box mess here and we will see each other at our base again. Oh, and obviously, if you are a player here on the server and if the machine accepts you, please contact me and I will gladly reserve a spot on my rocket for you. Okay, we can scratch that off the list as well now. So, that is not finished. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I don't think this will happen because we have maybe one or two episodes left and building an elytra course when there's nobody online anymore to play it, that doesn't make sense. But that is a thing for season two then, because why not, right? Uh, we could do that, fix the broken slime farm. You know what? Let's do that. That shouldn't be too much work but I really want that to be fixed. Because there will be a world download and you can take a look at all of that then. And therefore I want it to be fixed. <laughs> so the problem here is, well, you can already see it, is that the slime shoots out of, well, there. And there's a zombie nearby. Let's ignore the zombie. The slime shoots out of here and lands there when it should be landing right here because here there's a hopper underneath and well it was here before now it's one two three four five almost six oh no does it actually i think it just bounced off of that slime block and then landed here so it might just be three blocks further than before. I will observe that for a bit. And as soon as I'm sure what is actually going on, I think the best way is simply to... Well, as you can see there, there there's this launch mechanism where there's a, the soul sand there that accelerates the block uh, upwards and therefore it flies out. Um, just put that back three blocks well, obviously only if it is actually three blocks that the slime blocks are now flying further than before. Hello there. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> okay, so, yep. See? They bounce off this. Uh, now I bounce off that. They bounce off this slime block. So, three blocks. Let's push the whole thing back three blocks and then... It should work again. Ah, that looks very, very good. Okay, so it is fixed and this is what it is looking like now. And well, I mean, when you're walking straight towards it, you can clearly see that there's a water path. But I think that was the same thing before. And well, as you just saw there, it works now. <laughs> And I think we might have a bit of weird stuff in these. Or maybe not. I thought I lost a few stone blocks. But well, obviously not. <laughs> Another thing to scratch off the list. Now that feels good. And well, this is a task that we will not completely do now, but I think I can do a bit of that because there are a lot of shulker boxes in this area that I totally do not need anymore. Oh, and we will have to get rid of that. Oh, that is actually almost empty. That is fine. <laughs> Let's 
put stuff in here randomly and in there perfect not my bow preferably but everything else and then we can grab that and that and the ender chest and one of the mess thingies is actually done let's quickly sleep and i think this is going to be it for this episode guys i hope you have enjoyed it i certainly have and we have made a lot of progress i really really hope that all the other players here on the server are applying for a slot on the rocket i really hope so and well we will see in the next episode guys we will definitely see that until then have a good one see you then thank you very 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 much for watching bye bye <laughs>